Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for my Eden Zero, Chapter 108. Okay, so first major thing to talk about with this chapter is we get introduced to Nadia, the guardian who watches over the temple of the Mother Beacon. And just saying that out loud opens up so many, like, so many, so many story threads, like, or so many avenues of where the story could go from here. Because just saying those two words, Mother Beacon, together, already tells me the temple and maybe Nadia in some way are going to play a major role in locating Mother. Now, obviously, I don't think it's going to give a direct location to where Mother is. Otherwise, the, the, the otherwise uh, uh, otherwise well, pretty much the story I think would 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 be over by by the next by the next chapter. However, I'm mean, right now just just kind of going off what off that title, the temple, the the guardian of the temple of the Mother Beacon. I'm imagining what or what the scenario that we've that we have here right now is there's more than one beacon, and there's more than one like mother beacon, so to speak, and each beacon acts as a sort of compass that 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 when that when found, co they collectively will like sh will will basically create a sort of map or a, a sort of star map or, or or basically a wayfinder or something that 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 basically leads to that basically that that which gives the location that pretty much gives the location to mother as to where mother actually is. That's what. That's what I'm assuming, just based off Nadia's introduction. Which, talking about Nadia herself, we learn that she is the she's basically the one the dead astronaut was supposedly in love with. Which was not only a very nice way of tying him into the story now, but it in some ways also also pretty much does validate that theory of this temple of this temple in a way where in a way where what probably happened with him is he discovered this he discovered where he discovered the temple in his own attempt to find mother but after spending probably more than a little time there and falling in love with Nadia he 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 he, 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 he what, what happened is the astronaut he probably he, he redirected his he redirected his goal to to pretty much to to be to, 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 to not on, only want, wanting to find mother for for himself but, but also wanting to find mother it, it wanting to find mother for Nadia like like pretty much not I think I think Nadia, in some ways, is basically a character that 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 it, that is kind of linked to Mother, and and she herself wants to find Mother for some reason. I think. Um, now, I guess just getting this off the now, I guess getting this off the table. Uh, the only major issue I really had with this chapter is that the battle with the octopus kind of went on for a little too long in my opinion especially since how the fight in itself already was nothing more than a transition point in order to actually get our heroes to the temple like like really when, when you look at this chap the way this chapter is structured that, that that whole that whole battle scene that whole battle scene with the with the octopus monster it really was was only meant to serve as as a way in order to actually get our heroes to the to the temple that the, there wasn't really any any point to any point to, to to pretty much to there wasn't really any point to the actual fight itself so i think so it's kind of so, so so pretty much because of that and the fight and the fight only really serving as a transition point i i felt like the fight itself could have been shortened by a couple pages but i but I, I I get I think I get why Mashima did it because he wanted to he wanted he he, 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 pretty much, he, he wanted to save the, the pretty much reveal of Nadia for, for the end of the chapter, but it's one of those things where he, he, even if even if Mashima's mentality was was to pretty much save the was, was to save the reveal of Nadia for, for pretty much the end of the chapter, I still think you, you could have done it in a way where. Where, where you could have done a little more, you could have focused, a little, you could have focused a little more time on our heroes exploring the temple itself, like, like before get, getting the actual, the actual reveal of Nadia. Like I, I think there's a way that they could have done that, where, 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 you, where, you, where you still have the fight in there, but just kind of shorten it a little more, and 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 redirect the focus on other things, on other things well, before getting to the major reveal of the chat, of the chapter. Like yeah, that 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 that, that was kind of the one. That was the kind of one bit of the of the chapter where it was like, nah, I'm, I'm not really getting into this part a lot much. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the pretty much fan service we got in this was, it, it was good. I'm not gonna lie to you. I always love, I I do like Majima's fan service, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, I think I think you could have shortened that fight just a smidge. 
Um, now, getting back to the major points of the chapter, though, another thing that obviously me and a lot of other people noticed is the dead is the dead robot bodies all over the city. And yeah, that that definitely raises a few eyebrows, as well as the tension of the whole situation as itself. Because well, it well, well it could have been the thing is obviously as we see like Shiki, he when he sees the dead the dead robots, he's having flashbacks to Granville, and it could have been the exact same scenario as what happened on Granville, or or maybe even the octopus monster itself was 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 responsible but either way the the bit the, the, the thing with these dead robot bodies is it does shine a bit of immediate suspicion and, and pretty much doubt on pretty much nadia like the 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 the, the, the thing with the, that whole bit with the robots it 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 creates it really does it really does say okay something isn't exactly kosher and something isn't right here like the, the, some like pretty much something with this whole situation with Nadia isn't is kind of off and 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 like like from like pretty much despite the warm welcome she, she's given that that's pretty much despite the warm welcome she's given to her heroes like despite that warm welcome have, all signs right now are kind of pointing to her being like I don't want to say this I don't know, know if she's necessarily going to be the full-on villain of this arc but something is like something in general is just definitely off and honest, honestly, the octopus, in some ways, it feels, feels like an even bigger red herring to this. And and that's not even taking into account Poseidon Nero, who, like, who again is more than likely involved somehow in all this. Like, the, the, with the, with this whole, with, with with the whole role, just just with the simple, just with the simple inclusion of the robots in this in in this chapter, it really kind of creates this sense of unease that yeah, something. Something is gonna go awry here. Something just isn't going to, something just isn't going to really like. Something just that is something's gonna pop here. Something isn't isn't correct, and it's it's just a matter of when that something is going to, uh, when that when whatever's whatever's wrong with this situation is going to show itself. So, yeah, I think, and and, and again, I think, I think part of it is that. Is that Mashima is also building up what like like for side Nero in this, in this situation as well. Like I think I think everything it, it whatever he's been doing here, I think it is for the purpose of building on on onto Poseidon, onto the threat of Poseidon Nero. Honestly, um, now, now one now one thing now just despite the, despite the fact that I wasn't a big fan of the whole fight with this. Whole fight with this chapter. I will admit one thing. Well, one one thing that I did kind of like is the is the is the way they were kind of utilizing u- utilizing Weiss as the sort of as the sort of um what is it as the as the sort of comedic relief. Like in the past, I've never like I've never had a problem with 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 Weiss in terms of in terms of how he uses comedic relief sometimes. But in this particular case, it did feel like he was utilized a little bit better, almost this comedic relief, or or, or maybe just a little more with a little more subtlety. I, I don't know. Something just was kind of like something about him. Just, just something about his interactions. I think with 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 the crew this time around. Something about the way he acted in this chapter. It really made me smile for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and maybe maybe that's just because of the whole situation and how he's pretty much just a and how he's just kind of. And I was just kind of le- learning to kind of let go now, or something like that. But um, but yeah, guys, that that's really all I've got for this review. Again, this this was a very pretty straightforward chapter, and just just kind of tell me what you guys think, because honestly, that the, the, there there's definitely a lot of this is one of those chatters that again just kind of really it, it it gives us answers, but just kind of compiles on the questions even more. So yeah, I'd really like to see what you guys have to say about this chapter, but. Uh, that's all I got, guys. Enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Mr. Crunchyroll. Death Knight of Enemy, signing off. Later, guys.